the story of Nachiketa. It is from, from the thousands of years ago. This was the land of sages. They used to perform many yagyas to attain the ultimate truth. The one of the such yagya was performed by Vajja Sarvasa, known for his charitable act and donation. He was performing a sacrificial rituals where he was required to give away a large part of his wealth to needy Brahmins. Nachiketa, the son of the sage, who was very intelligent and keen to learn everything, he noticed with surprise that the father was only giving away his old and useless cup. He thought that with this offering, his father will sure go to dark hole of ignorance. So he thought to save his father as he also belongs to him. He asked his father about it. Father, to whom would you give me in charity? This made his father very angry, but he decided not to say anything. When Nachiketa repeatedly asked the question three to four times, Sage lost his temper and said, I give you to Yam. Yam is the cuff tax. Hearing this, Nachiketa went to Yam's kingdom. It was his father's command. It would not be proper for him to disobey his father. I should fulfill his wish, thought Nachiketa even if it means leaving despite his father entreaties. Entreaties means uh, grievances, uh, regrets. To forget the command, Nachiketa took leave and set off to find Yam, the god of He reached the kingdom and was told by Yam's guard that he had gone out for three days. Nachiketa decided to wait at his doorstep till he returned. He waited for three days. No food, no water. Three days passed. Yam returned for the fourth day and saw little Nachiketa at his doorstep. He felt pain for keeping a Brahmin waiting without welcoming him, without food and water. It was a scene not to welcome an Atithi guest at the doors. He felt his people had done wrong, but not taking care of a guest, a Brahmin boy. So he apologized for offense and granted Nachiketa three boons to compensate for the oversight. These three boons symbolize evaluation of seeker's quest. The first Asked that his father no longer be angry with him and everything would be fine between both of them. For second boon, he asked Yam to teach him the best yagya that can be performed by human beings to relieve their suffering and attain the kingdoms of gods. That is, they live the life on earth like heaven. The third boon is there indeed a life beyond death. Yam does not give this boon very easily. He tried to avoid a boy with her pleasures, worldly pleasures, coins uh, and luxuries to the boy. But the boy was very strong and determined. He made Yam to change his mind. And finally agreed to tell Nachiketa about the mysteries of life and the wisdom given by him is self. Self is immortal. It was not born nor does it die. That is, it merely changes the body. But soul remains undisturbed. The soul here is compared to the Atma. The second thing very nicely metaphor by Yam. He considered body as a chariot. Chariot means rat. Intelligence the driver. Senses are the horses. Conscience the rain. And the Atma is the lord of the chariot. 
the self is superior to body mind and soul the third wisdom is self once you realize self death loses all its terror the one who has realized becomes immortal the knowing self is never born never die is the conclusion or the moral of the story thank you